Sandra DeBose made history when she was crowned the 2011 Mrs. Black North Carolina and became the first bald beauty queen in the state, all while raising awareness about alopecia, the autoimmune disease that left her bald starting at the age of 25. She's also written a book entitled My Crown and Glory, It's Not About the Hair, Six Fundamental Principles to Heal Emotional Wounds and Build Healthy Self-Esteem. And Sandra, thank you again for being with us today. My pleasure. We're talking about those six principles. Tell us a little bit about each one of those that you cover in the book. Okay. Well, the very first one is healing the inner child. And the reason that that's so important is because, you know, self-esteem is not something that you can dress up. It's not an outer thing. Again, it's how we feel about ourselves, what we think about ourselves. And a lot of that stems from our childhood. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of us are, are the walking wounded, I call it, because yes. we've been through so many different traumatic experiences from our childhood. And until we can really own that and heal from that. You know, you can't really just shove everything in the closet and think that you can just have, be, have freedom and, and feel good about yourself if you don't really deal with those skeletons, if you will. So that's right. the very first step. If you really want to get healthy, you really, really want to build healthy self-esteem, well, you need to go back and you need to go through that closet and you need to clean it out if you intend to be free. Mm -hmm. So healing the inner child. Then it's owning your power, as we talked about, right. right? And then it's tapping the spirit within, because it's very important that we understand that we are, and I believe that we are, spiritual beings having a human experience. Okay. Mm, what does that mean? <laughs> so we are, we are spirit. Mm -hmm. We're not just flesh. We are spiritual beings. And so we each need to learn in whichever way we decide to do it, religion or whatever your practices are. But we have to really tap into that spirit within because mm -hmm. that's the core of our strength, of our identity as spiritual beings. And so I talk in the book about tapping that spirit within and re recognizing that we have to surrender to that higher power in whichever way that we do it in order to find that inner strength and that inner peace that we're all looking for, right? right. So tapping the power within, um, the practice of forgiveness. Mm. That's important. That's, That's a big one. Very, mm -hmm. very important because you can't really feel good about yourself if you're harboring hatred towards somebody. Mm -hmm. And there's such power. You, you want to be empowered? Forgive. Yes. No matter yes. what it is, forgive that person and step into your power. The other one... Um, defining success for yourself, mm -hmm. really living your truth, mm -hmm. and not just doing what you think everybody else wants you to do. Right. But and here we see you as a part of living your truth. Yeah. You're here, you're on stage performing and right. singing. In addition to being the, the beauty queen, yes. you were also, you're an entertainer. Absolutely. And an entrepreneur, a life coach. Yes, ma'am. You're truly living your dream. That's what it's about. But I had jobs, excuse me, that I hated, that I literally had to walk away from. Walk away from the money. You know, it's, it's making that decision. Are you going to step out of your comfort zone and trust that inner voice and, and allow that to and to lead your life. And I've had to do it. And it's led me to some wonderful places. And the very last one is the attitude of gratitude, where again, it's really about, and I, t I share in that story, a story about my dad who's since passed. Mm -hmm. And it's really about, again, seeing that silver lining and no matter what's going on, deciding that we're gonna be grateful because things can always be so much worse. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now you offer workshops and, and yeah. you are key, Keynote provide speeches. keynote speeches. Absolutely. How can people find out more information about the work that you're doing mm -hmm. and maybe contact you? Absolutely. It's all on my website, which is sandradubose.com. I'm also on Twitter at, uh, San at Sandra Dubose and Facebook, all the social media. If you pull up Sandra Dubose, if you Google me, you'll find me. Mm -hmm. I'm absolutely there. And like you said, I do motivational speaking, you know, keynote and workshops, and now moving into life coaching because I'm hearing, you know, from women that I connect with, women, whether they have hair loss or whatever the issue is, mm -hmm. how can I, you know, build healthy self-esteem? And so it really led me to really want to work more personally with women who are ready to get liberated in their own lives. So I'm the liberation mm -hmm. life coach. Okay. I'm going to help you move from, you know, being stuck to mm -hmm. really liberating yourself in whatever area that is. And of course, I've been a singer ever since I was a kid, so I'm always singing right. somewhere. So that's always part of so, what I do. Yeah. Lots of ways to reach out and, and lots of ways for you to, to minister, in a sense, to, to the masses. That's what it's about. It's right. about walking in my purpose, and I'm just really grateful and really honored to be able to serve. 
Sandra DeBose, thank you so thank much you. for all you're doing, and thank you for being our guest today. Absolutely. That's it for this week's Tar Heel Talk. To comment on this or other episodes of the show, send us a message on our Facebook page or an email to tarheeltalk at fox50.com. I'm Sonya Williams. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.